we're going to have a look at some moving off and stopping. The first part is we're going to prepare the car. To prepare the car, we'll press the clutch down, we'll select first gear, we'll then set the gas, find the bite, and then we'll keep our feet nice and still. The car's then ready to go. The next part is some observations, so we'll observe. To do the observations, we're going to be using an MSM or a mirror signal maneuver routine. We're going to check our center mirror to see who's behind. We're going to check our right mirror to see who's overtaking in this area. We're then going to check ahead as well to make sure that's all clear. And from that, we're going to make a decision whether or not we signal. If there's no one about, we're not going to bother signaling. We'll only signal if anyone's going to benefit from it. I'll talk you through that as we do it. If everything's okay to go, the last place we're going to check before we move is our right blind spot. That's to make sure no one's in there, in an area where we haven't seen in our mirrors. If everything's still okay, we're going to release the handbrake and we'll start to move or manoeuvre. To do this, we'll squeeze our gas a tiny little bit more and we'll lift the clutch up a tiny little bit more, probably about the thickness of a pound coin. And by squeezing the gas a little bit more and lifting the clutch a little bit more, that's going to be enough to get the car moving. Once we move, we're going to steer about five minutes worth of steering to the right. And as you can see by the steering wheel, it's pointed about there, where the 12 o'clock position is about up here. So approximately five minutes worth of steering. And that's all we'll need to get the car heading out to the right. Once we've travelled about a car length, we'll lift the clutch pedal slowly up and keep the car just slowly moving forward. Then, after a little while, once we're in the middle of the lane, we're going to steer about five minutes worth of steering back to the left. And that's going to bring the car back to a straight position where we'll look up the road and straighten our wheels. We'll then reassess our mirrors, both the centre and the right mirror, to see who's around and that will tell us how we can proceed down the road. When we're driving down the road, we're going to be driving in a normal driving position, which is approximately a metre or an open doors width from this left curve. I'm going to give you a little reference point when we are driving. The first part of stopping is to choose a safe, convenient and legal place. So, if we're driving down the road in this car, there's a few places down this road where we couldn't park. First of all, yellow lines. If there's any yellow lines, we're not allowed to park there. We don't park anywhere closer than a couple of car lengths from near a junction. We wouldn't park on or opposite a bus stop. And make sure as well that you leave the entrance to houses clear also. There are other things which we'll mention as we get to. But remember, safe, legal and convenient place. And on this picture, it would be further up the road. So once we've chosen a safe, legal and convenient place, we're going to start our park. We'll be using an MSM routine again, checking your centre and your left mirrors to see who's behind and to see whether there's any people, cyclists in particular, catching us up on the left hand side. We'll then, after we've checked our mirrors, we'll then decide on whether we need to signal. We'll only signal if people need a signal, if there's any other road users about. Then, to do the manoeuvre, what we do, we'll come off the gas, we'll gently brake, and we'll cover the clutch. And what that's going to do, it's going to start slowing the car down, so we're slow enough when we arrive next to the kerb. We can't be too fast when we're next to the kerb, because any small steering mistake will mean that we're going to hit the kerb. So, what we'll do, is we're slowing down, we'll steer about five minutes worth of steer to the left hand side, that's going to bring the car closer to the kerb. When we're close enough to the kerb, you'll see the kerb about in the middle of the window. I'll show you a picture of that in a second. And what we'll do is then steer five minutes of steer to the right. When we're in that position, make sure you're looking nice and far up the road to get straight. Don't stare down at the kerb. It's going to help your loads if you look far up the road. 
And then what we'll be doing is when we're straight, we'll be steering back to straight. To finish the stop off, what we'll then have to do is brake a little more, press the clutch fully to the floor and bring the car to a gentle stop. Once we've stopped, keep your feet dead still, secure your car by putting the handbrake on, select neutral and then you can relax your feet and cancel any signal that you may have put on. Remember, when you're close enough to the kerb, just like you can see in your windscreen now, you will see the kerb approximately in the middle of the window. And that's how you can tell when you're close enough. All these briefings are used on the iPad with apps produced by a guy called Neil Beaver. I use these apps on a daily basis. They're quite simply the best on the market. I'm not being paid to say this about these apps. I would turn around and recommend these apps to anyone learning to be a driving instructor.